try to make it nice and thin, not, not nothing too thick, which can be a bit difficult. Don't worry if you don't get a perfect line because we're going to fix that anyway. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to get my brush with some of that white and I'm just going to create some curves around the edges. As you can see, it's pretty much the shape that we want, but um, you can, of course, make this thicker and everything. Um, I'm just going to leave it like this because I like it like this. So this is one way to do it. Okay, so for the next one, it's going to be the same, but just showing you how to do it with tape. So here I have some tape and... I'm basically going to place those nail the tape exactly how I want to do my French Put to press it down at the bottom and then just go across like that and then just stick it down really nice try not to get any air bubbles on there Not the cleanest of lines, but don't worry. Just going with your cleanup brush, just like before, and clean up anywhere where you have that white that you don't want. So on the skin, maybe, and of course on the nail. We're just gonna neaten up that line. This is so easy. Just literally go up in the same direction as your line, and it will start to clean that up very nicely. Okay, that's pretty even to me. Peel this off. 
just like that. Okay, so once that's done, this is what it would look like. And comparing these two, they don't, they look pretty similar to me. Um, so yeah. Okay, and for this last finger, I'm going to do a really thin um, French tip line. So the very skinny one. So for this, it's really simple. You basically just want to draw a line going across the nail just at the tip, just like this, with your brush. 